identify the correct statement with respect to restriction enzyme and the options given are first option restriction enzymes can cut the strands of DNA a little away from the center of the palindrome sites but between the same two bases on the opposite strands. This is a correct statement. Statement 2. Restriction enzymes cut the strands of DNA a little closer towards the center of the palindrome site but between the two different bases on the opposite strands. This is incorrect because restriction enzymes cut the two strands of DNA between the same two bases. Statement C, sticky ends are named so because they form peptide bonds with their complementary cut counterparts. This is incorrect because sticky ends are named so because they form hydrogen bonds and not the peptide bonds between the complementary cut counterparts. Statement D, the stickiness of the ends do not facilitate the action of DNA ligase. This is incorrect because the stickiness of the ends facilitate the action of the enzyme DNA ligase. So, correct statement is given in option 1. Proceeding to the next question, match column 1 with column 2 and choose the correct option. Column 1, competitive inhibitor. Malonate competes with succinate for the active site of the enzyme succinic dehydrogenase. So, A matches with 2. Ligases. Ligases are the enzymes which join two molecules. Ligases catalyze the joining of CO, CA, CN, etc. bonds. So, B matches with 1. C, most abundant protein in animal world and most abundant protein in animal world is collagen while most abundant protein in the whole biosphere is rubisco. So, C matches with the fourth disaccharide. An example of disaccharide is lactose. Lactose is made up of glucose and galactose. So, D matches with three. Let's see this combination is given in which option? This is given in option number 3, A with 2, B with 1, C with 4 and D with 3. So, correct answer to this question is option number 3. Now, proceeding to the next question, question states that epithelium commonly found in ducts of glands and tubular parts of nephrons in kidneys is and the options given are squamous epithelium, this is incorrect. Squamous epithelium is present on inner lining of alveoli and blood vessels. B. Columnar epithelium. Columnar epithelium is present in inner lining of stomach and intestine. C. Cuboidal epithelium. Cuboidal epithelium is present on inner lining of ducts of glands and tubular parts of nephron. Compound epithelium. It is present on dry surface of skin, on moist surface of buccal cavity and it is also present in the ducts of salivary glands and pancreatic ducts. So, this cannot be a correct answer and correct answer to this question is option number C, cuboidal epithelium. Proceeding to the next question, question states that match column 1 with column 2 and choose the correct option. Column 1, cyclostomata. The members of class cyclostomata are jawless vertebrates. So, A matches with the fourth, chondrichthys in cartilaginous fishes. Placoid scales are present, so B matches with 1. Ostic thighs. In ostic thighs, that is bony fishes, cycloid scales are present, so C matches with 2. Amphibia. In amphibians, ear is represented by tympanum, so D matches with 3. This combination is given in which option? Let's see. A with 4, B with 1, C with 2, D with 3. This is given in option number 1. So, correct answer to this question is option 1. Proceeding to the next question. Question states that match column 1 with column 2 and choose the correct option. Column 1, thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is composed of two lobes which are located on either side of trachea. So, A matches with 2. Pineal gland. Pineal gland is present on the dorsal side of food brain. So, B matches with 1. Parathyroid gland. They are present on the back side of thyroid gland. In each lobe of the thyroid gland, two parathyroid glands are present. So, C matches with 4. 
thymus gland it is composed of it is located between lungs behind the sternum on the ventral side of aorta so d matches with 3 now let's see the options a with 2 b with 1 and c with 4 then d with 3 this combination is given in option number 4 so correct answer is fourth option proceeding to the next question